Today I am going to tell you how I became my own dressage sponsor. So right now I am riding my new horse Harvey. I'll show you. That's Harvey, he's a blonde boy. But basically right now I am sitting on top of my lifetime saving and pretty much all of my work in my 20s. 10 years of work and my lifetime savings I am sitting on right now. So I think that in the dressage world, it's a hard sport because it's so expensive and it's easy to get discouraged and wrapped up in that. And I think a lot of us think like, oh, well, I just need a sponsor that's gonna, you know, buy me tons of horses and pay all my bills. But the reality is that that's not really ever gonna happen. So here is my advice for how to become your own sponsor. The first tip is that you have to get ridiculously good at riding horses. And I don't mean just, you know, the nice trained ones that are easy and anyone can ride, but you have to ride the rank horses, the young horses, the problem horses, the horses that no one else wants to ride. The second thing is that you have to have good teachers and good help and really you need to put a value on that and spend your money with getting help. My third tip is that you always have to have your own personal horse. So ever since I graduated from high school I worked riding other people's horses, riding clients horses, training other people's horses but I always had my own horse that I was riding and training and competing and getting up the levels because having your own horse is really the only way that you're gonna have enough consistency and a long enough period of time to train a horse up the levels. The fourth thing is that you are gonna have to work ridiculously hard. I work seven days a week. A lot of those days are like 12, 14 hour days. And I love it, but you know, it's tiring. You get to the end of the day and it's exhausting, but you know, hard work, it pays off. I've gotten to a lot of skills. I've learned a lot and you know, financially it pays off. You get paid to ride and that's how I afford my own horses. So my fourth tip is manage your money and spend it wisely. Everyone always teases me because I'm pretty much the cheapest person around and I drive an old car with the paint coming off of it and I live in a 900 square foot house. But you know, ever since I graduated high school, I've saved every extra penny. And you know, I spend money where it's important, like taking care of my horses, good shoeing, good vet, good lessons, good teachers. But all the other stuff, you know, having fancy new clothes and going out to dinner, going on vacations, like I'm really frugal in those areas. And that's what's allowed me to save up my money and be able to afford my horses and Harvey. So that brings us to Harvey. So Harvey is a horse that I just got in October and I'm really excited about him. I actually tried him in Europe in the spring with a client and he was too much horse for her. I wasn't looking at the time, but I really liked him and I remember riding him and thinking that I could never ride a horse like him because he was really hot, a lot of motion, and pretty much the nicest horse I'd ever ridden. So in September, I went back to Europe for the second time with my mom again to try horses and I rode probably 30 horses and Harvey was just head and shoulders above all the other horses. Um, he was really the only horse that I thought to myself, you know, that's an amazing horse, an amazing athlete, a horse that everyone's going to look at you when you're riding. The only problem being that he was 
above my budget. So after I went to Europe, I kind of let the whole thing sit for a few weeks and the sellers actually ended up doing a vet check on him because they hadn't vetted him at all. So I got the x-rays and I sent the x-rays to my vet here and I was half hoping that my vet here would tell me that the x-rays weren't any good so that I didn't have to try and buy him. But my vet called me and he said, well, these x-rays are great. There's nothing, nothing on them. So then I was like, oh gosh, this is really bad because I really want the horse and I don't have the money to buy him. So I just let the thing sit for about another two weeks and the owner said that they weren't negotiable at all on the price. But finally they came down a little bit and I begged my family and a couple other people to help me out a little bit with buying him and ended up buying him. So it's been quite a journey and at first I was really nervous because when you buy a horse you never really know what you're getting like going and riding them a few times you have no idea what their dispositions like or what they're gonna be like when you ship them you know a thousand miles across the world and they end up in a whole new environment and new food new friends new footing new program um, but Harvey's been amazing so far and uh, I took him to his first show a few weeks ago. I was lucky enough to get selected to ride in the FEI Trainers Conference with him. And I'm really looking forward to the future. You know, it's still a really long journey. He's young. He has to get trained, obviously. And again, it takes a lot of luck, you know, that your horse stays sound and happy and healthy. Um, but it's the journey and the day-to-day -day training and that's really what you have to enjoy and work at it you know it's not easy any of this and I'm so grateful for how hard I've worked to get to this point I'm so grateful for all the other horses that I've ridden that have made me able to ride a horse that's the caliber of Harvey because to be honest if I had just gotten a sponsor and they bought me some ridiculously fancy horse, but if I hadn't have spent those thousands of hours riding those difficult horses that, you know, weren't talented and weren't easy, I would never be able to ride the horses I have and train the way I can. So I hope this inspires you guys that it's not just about having some rich sponsor or having all the money in the world, but it's it can be done on a budget and it takes hard work, but if you work at it and you're determined, you can do it. So, good luck.